Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? My name is Tay, and welcome back to my channel, Inspire Me, where I talk about current or relatable topics, all from a godly perspective, and today's topic is called, are y'all looking at the whole picture? Now, I wasn't going to talk about this at all. Something just pricked in my spirit, and I saw it again. I did my research. This is referring to Dr. Martin Luther King. I think it was a few months ago till last year, I heard that he was dealing with marital issues. So I'm like, you know how some people like just write stuff on a blog just to negative stuff it don't be true. So I didn't really like think nothing of it. So then just again recently, I heard it about it again. Saying that he was, you know, when he was living, that he dealt with marital issues. Like meaning like had different women and was pretty much committing adultery. The person that I heard it from, they was pretty much, you know, like saying that people was talking about negative about him and you know down to him and they pretty much just taking up for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. right and saying you know don't talk about my hero and this and that this and that now I do want to make a statement okay what Martin Luther King Jr. stood for I appreciate to this day I, I will never forget what he did for the black community not just the black community just for different races how he stood for equality especially back then how he was judged for it and different things i appreciate it because there's a lot of cultures not even just black and white a lot of cultures that stand for each other that you know talk when i see a black person a white person talking or just another race and they get along get smiling and stuff you know how happy that makes me and to just to think about years ago this wasn't even possible even though you know the society still dealing with some racism you know but back to when he was you know little we have come a long way and I do have him to think for that and I'm just so grateful thank you Jesus for that now let's get it to this other part now people only looking at that aspect saying oh you know he was a great man he this and that which he did do a great thing I'm not gonna lie however I didn't know this man was dealing with marital issues and I know some people might say okay what do this have to do with the Bible I'm gonna tell you in a minute first in order for you to be a great person I'm not gonna just say a great man a great woman too but just in order for you to be a great person you need to be godly I, if I'm not mistaken I think this man was a uh, reverend saint all those attributes are supposed to be a Christian if you're a Christian a true Christian because well I don't like to use the word Christian because a lot of people play that word out I like to say a follow of Christ if you're a true follow of Christ you know if you're married you're supposed to not commit adultery you know you know you're supposed to pretty much not cheat on your spouse and like I said in the Bible you don't have to even touch another individual but if you look at them with lust you already committed adultery all right the ghost of scripture is actually going to come from ephesians 5 husbands love your wife just as christ also loved the church and gave himself for her that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of the water by the word that he might present her to himself as a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that she should be holy and without blemish so husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies he who loves his wife loves himself the previous verse verse 24 i didn't read it but i'll read it just in case i know some some men <laughs> might be saying you only get on the men it's some women that um cheat too you're right about that so let me get to that since y'all got so much words <laughs> Yes. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Okay, I said it now with the wives, but now <laughs> it's time for Reggie to talk about. No, <laughs> we're talking about the husbands right now. Now I'm not talking about if a person's not married and your bae cheat on you. First, you're not living holy and acceptable to God. We talking about the ones that are actually married, covenant. I'm not telling my, I think it's called common law marriage. That's pretty much when you've been with somebody for a long time. And I guess you deem it as being married, but you're really not married. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about actual marriage. That's what I'm referring to. 
it says it in the Bible. Husbands, you should submit yourselves to your wife. Now, back when Mark living, he was not living in the Old Testament. The Old Testament was done away with. Jesus already came about. Yeah, we can't use that as an excuse. Oh, the test the Old Testament and they had several several wives. Uh uh. Can't use that excuse at all. It says here that men, husbands, are submit, supposed to submit, submit themselves to their wives as Christ. And also, if you don't, you don't love yourself. Also, too, don't it say also in the Bible that if you love me, you will keep my commandments. If you love Jesus Christ, you will keep his commandments. The same way, if a husband is supposed to be the God, then the husband, then the wife, the children, so forth. Now, if a husband loves his wife, isn't he supposed to respect the commandments when he got married? Isn't there a decree you have to say, I would not do this, I would not do that? Uh, I'm not, I don't like to use the word promise, but that's what they say in a, in a um, marriage. Like, I promise to do this, I promise to do that. So, by you committing adultery, you're not keeping the commandments. You're not finding a law of being married. And I know some people say, oh, well, Coretta didn't say anything. She didn't say nothing. When you're um, having like a marital issue or just anything marital like that, as far as like something negative, you're not supposed to tell outsiders. You're supposed to um, pretty much bring it to God. You're not supposed to put everybody in your business. However, that's pretty much just giving me either that. I don't want to, I don't know for sure. Some women that do that, put it in God's hand, which is a great thing. However, some women, they settle for less. Like, God, you don't know, sought God, and he didn't tell you to say in that marriage. Because you can't get a divorce if uh, your spouse commits adultery. It's in the Bible. But some women just stay. I'm going to use, for instance, with a lot of celebrity wives. A lot of them, they look at their husband because they're famous, because they have a lot of money. Or I can get anything I want to. I have a grand house. We have children together. So I'm going to stay with him. But you don't realize that when this man on the road that he cheating on you, that women, or you cheat don't have to be on the road. He could be in the house with you, and it's another woman calling his phone, texting him. You, you don't see something wrong with that picture. And some women stay because they don't know their self worth. People got to look at the whole picture. Don't just look at, oh, he was a great man because you know he fought for equality and you know, which is a great thing. Don't get me wrong. However, you have to look at the whole picture. This man was dealing with lust. When I looked it up, this man had several women. Like, even the day before he passed away, they said he was in a hotel with another woman. So, we all know that he um, passed away uh, over a balcony of the hotel. So, that makes me think, what, was it the same hotel that he actually was in with the other woman that he got... Um, pretty much assassin. Wow. Now, nobody should get murdered. Nobody should. It don't matter if you're black, white, but it just pretty much brings you to the Bible. God is not mocked. You will reap what you sow. So people look at it, oh, he just got assassin because uh, he was fighting for equality. If you look at it from a worldly perspective, that might be it, but from a spiritual perspective, if you look at it, that's all I'm going to say regarding that. At the end of the day, I still, uh, like I said, I still appreciate, I will ever be grateful that he fought for blacks and just different uh, races to um, be amongst each other and to, you know, coincide with each other. I will be forever grateful. However, I see the bigger picture. That man, when he was living, he was dealing with sexual immorality being married. And God frowns upon that. So I'm telling you all that might be doing the same thing, who might be married with your man or woman, do not commit adultery on your spouse. Don't do it. Oh, this person not showing me that much. In it. Don't do it, y'all. If you focus, put your focus more to God, if you're not doing that, you need, you need to put your focus more to God. But if you put your focus more to God, He will either rectify that marriage or He will cause, you know. That, do not commit adultery on your spouse. It don't matter if you're a great person because you're great for other attributes. It's men that and women. Also, men. It's men that could be great in a pulpit, 
preaching the house down you know people women admiring them i think we even spoke about this uh, one time in church not too long ago people could be um uh, admiring them women could be admiring them like oh i pray i had a husband like that but behind closed door when they're actually at home with their own wife it's like their wife can't stand them it's like they talk down on it to their wife it's like they're not showing that same type of energy and love to their wife like they're doing in church so first of all what this taught me is even though he was never like my idol i don't idolize nobody Je jesus is my hero <laughs> jesus is my idol that's the only person i look up to but that's why this is a great example of why people shouldn't be your idol because you don't know what they're dealing with and it's not a take away from what he did what he accomplished I do, I do, some people will look at, oh, she's talking about, but did you hear the whole thing? <laughs> okay, I can't say when people do stuff like that. It's like, they always talking about negative and saying negative stuff, but it's like, do you see the positive that I'm saying? I think somebody did that one time. Um, I think I said something positive or something, and it's like they only see the negative part I was saying, and it's like, did you not just hear the other part I was saying too? Anyways, but yeah, listen to the whole thing. <laughs> Just how y'all look at the half the picture, not the whole picture. Well, listen to the whole thing. And I had to ask God to, you know, make sure I wasn't judgmental. Because I, I don't like that judgment mess. <laughs> I had to bring this point across the same way he stood for equality. While other people was quiet, okay, the same way I'm going to stand up for equality and, and marriage. <laughs> if that's the right thing. You feel me not being a adulterer. That's pretty much what y'all have to say regarding that, y'all. Make sure you like, make sure you share it. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day.